In the previous episode, we left our home in Bedlington to drive to the Lake District in Cumbria. In episode one, we went through Stockgill Woods, had a look at some of the waterfalls and headed up to Wandsfell Pike. Before heading into Troutbeck and the surrounding area. Hi. <laughs> so there's a rainbow in that field. Hopefully we'll find our pot of gold and I haven't had to go and back to work. I've got more chance of finding Jeff and Bungle. <laughs> We then showed you our accommodation during our stay in the Lake District, which was between Windermere and Bowness, giving you a room tour of the accommodation. Then we went into Bowness to try some Thai food. We're gonna try a Thai restaurant, we love Thai food. Good. Not impressed. In part two, we show you the accommodation's free leisure facilities before heading on a boat trip on the Lake Windermere. Yeah, cool. Right on cue, it started bloody raining. Then we finish off with a small hike up to some waterfalls at Era Force near Lake Ullswater. So sit back and enjoy the second part of our Lakes mini series. So one of the benefits you get of staying at St John's Lodge is you get the use of the leisure facilities which are about a 10 minute drive from here. So we're going to go and use them, we had a few too many drinks last night, plus the weather's rubbish. So we're going to have a bit of time to, to relax this afternoon. We're getting off to a bit of a later start today. Like I say the weather's not very good anyway so we can't really go anywhere. But we're going to go now and we're going to show you around. So you need a padlock for the leisure facilities and it's just in reception with the lodge mm -hmm. it was only about seven or eight minute drive it's not too far so we're here now so you've got to pay to park was it five pound for four hours mm -hmm. which we didn't expect so i'm not very happy with that especially because the app's shit never mind we're gonna go in and have a look around was okay and the pool was nice the good temperature um, yeah I didn't really want to film too much because obviously there's people swimming in that but uh, we're just going to take a bit of time out in here so tonight we're going to try some Indian food and we're going to Shabibs Shabibs um, it's in the arcade bit so we're going to go inside we're going to try this food it sounds good on TripAdvisor, but so did last night's food. So, we'll go and see what this place is like. And apologies for Jackie, she's had a few sherbets today, so she's uh... <laughs> <laughs> It's me that's had the sherbets. So, let's go inside and give this a try anyway.
How's your pompadoms? Good. It's like it's like Jai's just said the main. It's like a Thai restaurant. I just on the left because we've got all the kind of like, Thai butter kind of stuff up. But the staff have been lovely so far. We've got the whole place to ourselves now. No one here other than Jacqueline and the staff. What is it? We've got the tandoori special kebab. Chicken first. Good. Chicken, good. Try the lamb. Mm. Nice. Is that good? And then the shish. I'm not a massive fan of so. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's like medium. Like medium. Yeah? Oh, it's quite special. Is it? Yeah. Mm. Is it nice? Yeah. Good start. It always starts off well. And then goes bad. Let's see what the mains are like. I'll try the sheesh. Spicy, isn't it? Oh, yeah. No, I'm getting that. Oh, yeah. Try the chicken. Mint, of course, it's nice with the mint sauce. I'll go with the pop along. And there's this lamb, lamb in there. Yeah. Some of that onion on there that you get with it. A bit of pepper, there's a bit of coriander. Fresh coriander. Mm, yeah, definitely. Oh, the lamb's lovely. Mm. All good. Mm. I think the lamb's the best part of it so far. Really good. Yeah, everything's really, really good so far. Egg rice. Lovely. I'll get the number, okay? Yes, right. thank you. Yes, thank you. Mind the size, they're hot. No. Lovely, okay, thank yeah, you. thank you. Portion size. Uh, quite small, actually. Yeah, but that's probably a good thing. Yeah, it might be, yeah, because you usually get quite a lot of food at the Indians. And you get sometimes too much, don't you? How many bits of chicken you got there, Jackie? I think I've got seven. Seven bits of chicken? That's, that's a decent amount. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lambert are actually quite small as well. Yeah, that's why I bought clovers because I said you want to share one and I've seen them there. Yeah, I'm pleased we didn't share one. <laughs> Jackie's got a chicken tikka buna and a garlic mm. naan. Mm. Yeah. Is that good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I've got quite a bit of Yeah, you got a bit of sauce in there. You got what well, was it eight, eight bits of chicken well, that you got like anyway, mm. yeah. eight Try. bits of chicken, yeah. Like it's, it's, really not, it's not it's not the biggest than naan breads, but it's thick and fluffy like I like it. Mm. So Jamie has a chicken tikka masala. I always get it, so at least I can compare it with other chicken tikka masala I've had. And this is like a popular dish. You always go to dishes, you know, but give it a try. Mm. Good, not good. Mmm, it's actually a lot spicier than a normal masala would be. I'm going to try it. I've got a keema naan bread. Oh yeah. So, keep my naan. I see the naan's aren't huge, like that's <coughs> not an elephant's here. Um, and naan bread's lovely. It is like, dead like fluffy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Chicken's lovely. The masala sauce is different to the ones I've had before. It's not as red, this is more. It looks different. It's like orangey, mm -hmm. yeah. But it's, it's a lot spicier. Because masala is quite mild. It's, it's, it has actually got quite a bit of spice about it. It's really, really nice, yeah. And it gives, it's, it's something different. So, so far, it's absolutely, yeah, really, really good, really good. Thank you, good night, you. take care. So that was Shahib's, um, not Shabib's, or who we called it before, so we do apologize for that. Yes, you wanna? That's a good guy. Thank you. <laughs>
it was it was really good. Really enjoyed it. It was a different kind of twist on the regular kind of Indians. Like like I say, I get a chicken tikka masala most places I go. It was dead spicy. It was lovely. It had a really good twist to it. Beef was lovely. You got a good portion. When it come out, it didn't look like a lot of food, but by God, we are absolutely stuffed, yeah, aren't we? Couldn't even eat my naan bread. I was so full. Yeah, like Jatty had one bit of naan bread, and that was it. She, she left the rest of it. It was I, nice. It just said what needed. It yeah, so well, yeah, yeah. The, the food was so was good, amazing. but my sauce was creamy. It was lovely. It was spicy. It was it, it was just different to your normal masala. You got a chicken. Chicken buna. Chicken buna. What was? Yeah. No, it was, it was nice. Compared to what you usually get, was it different or was it the same? No, it was just like, the same. Just the same. same. Probably yeah, a bit more it was, coriander mm, taste mm, in it, mm. but um, it was it was fine. It was nice. There was huge chunks of coriander in there, wasn't mm, there? Yeah, and, yeah. Rice was really nice, actually. The rice was nice. <laughs> we, yeah, we recommend Shahid. It was fantastic. We we really enjoyed it. Um, like I say, the staff were lovely and were dead attentive. The only thing you weren't keen on was the wine. Yeah, I wasn't keen on the wine. I thought the wine was okay. It wasn't the house wine we got. It was Vino's. Yeah, I don't know. Can't remember what it was. But Jackie wasn't so keen on the wine. But I liked the wine. I thought it was okay. Anyway, that's today wrapped up. We come to Shahib's. Really good. There's a pub called the Albat, and it's directly across the road from the Albat. There's like a little shopping gallery, which is, yeah. Um, so it's just across the road from there. So, yeah, come here. Okay, so we're going to go and show you the breakfast in St. John's Lodge. We didn't do one yesterday because we're a little bit skew whiff and hungover. So we're going to go this morning. We're having something a bit different. We both had a traditional breakfast yesterday, and it was really nice, wasn't mm, it? It was beautiful, lovely. yeah, really nice. So we're going to go and try breakfast and show you what, what's on offer, basically. So this is chili fried bread. So it's all local produced sausage, bacon, but tomato, beans, and there's the fried bread. And Jackie's got egg bread, and you've got mushrooms, beans, and bacon. Vegan bacon, Right, yeah, because it's on the vegan option, isn't it? Good mushrooms. I think that's sorted, aren't they? Bacon eggs? Yeah, Heinz beans. Heinz beans, yeah. 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 Right, so that was St John's Lodge, it was actually it was really nice, quite an old building inside, but there's quite a few rooms in there, the hosts were lovely people, we well, haven't really seen them much, but they gave us loads of information at the start, the lady that runs the place sat with for about 20 minutes at the start, yeah, yeah, she did lots of, yeah. and ran through loads of different things, just what there is in the area, the walks, the boat trips, give her loads of information, there's a really good pack in the room as well, and there's like, it's got the menu on for all the breakfasts, they do other stuff as well, like through the day, it's decent, it's got vegan options. There's actually quite a good range of vegan stuff on there because I know a lot of people are vegan these days. So you'll not go short for food. The room itself was nice. Uh, it was quite modern. It was cosy. The yeah. bed was comfortable. The bathroom was quite small, but the shower was good. Yeah, it's um, enough to get around and stuff. So yeah, it was, fine, it was yeah. nice. Like I say, it was comfortable. It's got like a like a drink spot. It's got like an honesty box. So we only used it just to get like a can of coke yesterday and then you just we just paid as we left there 
But yeah, it's, it's a good location. You're right between Windermere and Bowness. It's only about a five, ten minute walk right into the middle of Bowness. We've been down there a couple of times. So it's, the location's superb, it's really good. You haven't got the lake views yet, what we've just been told, which obviously we know because we're kind of on a road. Yes. But it doesn't make any difference. I mean, we're not in the room all the time, we're out and about, so it's, it's not a problem. So anyway, today we're gonna hopefully get a boat trip around Lake Windermere. And then if we get time, we're gonna try and stop at the Aero Force waterfall, which is towards Ulls Water and it's on my way home. But we'll see how we get on for time anyway. Okay, so the trip we've chose is Blue it's the Island. island Blue Island cruise. An hour. Is it now? I thought it was 45 minutes. Oh, I think it said one hour. It's, it's one about 45 minutes to an hour. It was £11 each for the tickets. So luckily we've got here because I thought the cruise left at half 10, but it leaves at 10.45, so we've made it, which is good. So um, let's hope this is decent. And it's actually a lovely day, exactly. it's mild. We felt lucky, although there's some threatening clouds over there. Like, hopefully, the weather will hold up for anyway. Right on cue. <laughs> yeah, go. Right on cue, it started <laughs> bloody raining. sun's come out. It's actually quite warm now. It's a bit cold going. It was a bit, it was a bit of a wind. But I haven't got it this way and it's actually really warm. It's really nice. There's quite a few exclusive hotels on the side of the lake. Some really nice houses as well. Same way we haven't even got a garage at home and all these have got boat, <laughs> boat houses under their houses. So I bet you they cost a fortune. We can see the colours of the trees and everything now because obviously we're in autumn. So now that the sun's come out, it really kind of brings out those colours, doesn't it? It's really nice, yeah. So that was the island cruise. Yeah, it lasted about 45 minutes. Yeah, 45 minutes, nearly an hour. But we're waiting for another boat to come in, so we've been <laughs> sat out in the lake for a bit. But it was all right, wasn't it? Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, it was nice and relaxing. It's nice to sit and, yeah, and relax it. So that was, yeah, it was 11 pounds, so it was worth the money, I suppose. There's other cruises, there's one that goes up towards Ambleside. I think that one's £14.50 or something. And that one takes about 75 minutes. But we've gone for the shorter one because we want to obviously get away and we're going to try and get to that Aero Force today if we can. So we might stop for a quick drink and then we'll probably head off towards Aero Force. So we're now at Aero Force. We've just parked up 
uh, down here the lake so it's Lake Ulls Water here so this is called the Aero, Aero Force Car Park it's part of the National Trust and it's cost us about I think it was about £6.10, £6.24 um, two hours so it's not the cheapest but I think it's only about a I think it's a 12 minute walk on Google Maps. So just wait in the jetty and then we'll start walking up. So apparently the cost of the parking covers what? According to the toilet? According to the toilet, yeah. So Did the toilet speak to you? <laughs> it said um, 20 parking spaces. Man, um, the land of the plant, plants. Plant, plants. <laughs> so not only have we got a talking toilet, <laughs> the restore nature. I'm talking a lot of plants. The trail itself, the path's actually quite good. Because obviously the place were worthy of that day, it wasn't so good. But this is pretty flat, smooth. A little bit muddy, but that's just the rain. But it looks okay. Probably still suggest walking, but it's just more comfortable and waterproof. This is the first waterfall encountered. It's quite pretty, got the bridge over there. Yeah, it's quite nice. A little bit of a climb so far, but not much, but obviously it is going back up the hill. And I think there's a few more on the way, and we're going to target the High Cascades, which is uh, apparently it's a 1.8 mile walk. It should take about a couple hours, I think. So we'll see how we'll get on, because we need to drive home as well. So we're just at Air Force now. It only took, what, five, ten minutes? It wasn't that far, was it? So, you used to be able to get down here, but the trees falling down there, so you used to get quite close to the falls. As you can see, it's, um, it's blocked off at the minute, but the view's pretty good from here. Quite powerful. See if we can get to that bridge, eh? Oh, yeah. Somebody down there. So here we're just approaching the bridge, stone bridge. You must be able to get down and around, so we'll see if we can get close to this waterfall. So far, are pretty impressive. So that was Aera Falls. Now making my way to High Force and then Higher Cascades. So the next one will be High Force. So these are High Force waterfalls. This is the second of the three. And this one's kind of in between Aera and the High Cascades. Probably about halfway between, I think. But yeah, they're quite powerful. You like the waterfalls? Yeah, uh, yeah, it's pretty. It's so many of them. Get your sail in. <laughs> so 
so this is the last one this is the high cascades and we're just on the bridge is high cascades bridge so this must filter down and then go into the high force waterfall so they're both kind of together what was that? <laughs> river, river wild Kevin oh, yeah. that big but no, it's quite nice. It actually didn't take that long. I mean, we've stopped quite a few times on the way to get some footage and some pictures. So, hopefully it shouldn't take too much longer. I think we've taken about an hour. But again, we've stopped at quite a few places and taken pictures and, and stuff. So, it's not too bad. It's not too steep. There was a couple of little bits, but not mm. nothing yeah. earth shattering. It's all right. Um, the trails are quite muddy. So again, the water boots are coming really hard. So we're going to make our way back down to the car. So what do we have here? Tango beach. Mm -hmm. Cornish pasty to share. Yep. And a brownie each. Six. I thought it was like that was two, not like. Oh yeah. Give this a bash. I'll give you the bigger bit because it's a bit. <laughs> Should have put a candle on it. <laughs> Could have done with some tomato sauce. Good. Some of that filling. Good. It's good. Mm. That nice. Yeah, good more. Mm hmm. Good more. Enjoy. It's a good brownie. So that puts an end to a little trip to the lakes. What did you think of it? It's your first time here, so it's... Uh, oh yeah, I loved it. absolutely loved it. Can't believe I haven't been here before. What was your best bit? Um, I quite like what hike we did. It was hard, but mm. I, I like that. There was like just so much to look at and scenery and stuff, so that was just lakes what I was expecting to me. Yeah, yeah, it was, that was nice. Really good. And the weather's been okay. Obviously we've had a bit of rain, but it's just started raining now. No, it's held off like, I mean, the day's walk wasn't very far. We did that pretty quick. Just over an hour, really. It only took about 20 minutes, half an hour to get back down, I think. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't too bad. But yeah, it's, it's been good. It's been quite tiring because we've never stopped since we got here, really. But the accommodation, everything's been good. It's yeah, um, Bowness was lovely. It was really good. There was plenty of bars, loads of restaurants. Plenty to see down by the lake. Yeah, um, it's pretty as well. I would go back there. Yeah, then. definitely. It's really, really nice. So anyway, we're going to start the drive back. It's going to take about two hours to get home. So if you've liked our little few videos from the lake, if you give us a thumbs up, leave any comments you want to leave and drop us a subscribe and hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye.